Hey, g'day, thanks for joining us. Just going to chuck a uh, Hike IT or Hike It um, throttle controller in the GWM Canon. Mate, what a, what a, what a bloody good uh, bit of gear it is. It's fully tunable, adjustable. You can adjust it sport mode, four-wheel drive mode. Uh, cruise mode, auto mode, all that, and there's about nine different uh, nine different settings on each mode, so works really well. Look, I had one in my Prado uh, last time. I bought this GW in a year or so ago, and uh, mate, I'm just sick of the bloody lag in it. So I put this in, mate. It has changed it totally, totally changed the vehicle. Uh, must do for anybody if you're thinking about it. Oh, should I put one in or whatever? Just do it. Unreal, unreal. So have a look. It's a quick install. Won't take long. You can buy it down the bottom there. Click on the link down below. Amazon. I think it's about 250 bucks. But what a thing to do. So check it out. Here we go. Rock on. Okay, this is my Great Wall Cannon. Got a Hilux roll cabinet on the back. Uh, and what I just got here for it now is the Hike It throttle controller now these don't give any more power say they change the, uh, the throttle control so it'll open up quicker or slower depending on what what you're doing um, now this I, I got this one here see the link down below uh, you can get them on Amazon for about 250 bucks uh, check that out and um, yeah order one stick them in it really does improve I had one on my Prado or last year before I bought the Great Wall and what I found with the Great Wall is the throttle lag just does my head in so I'm gonna chuck that in so what we do first we just unplug that section there we unplug this jigger and um, let me plug that in so I'll just open the box up Ta -da -da -da. go on gravity give me in There we go there, run the street, own the outback. That's what they reckon. Now in the box you have, um, you've got the the actual unit, which will stick up here on the dash, some up there on the dash somewhere. And you have the, the cable that goes in between your throttle. So that plug I pointed on before is this one. So you unplug that, put that in there and then put the other one up to the, where the wire connects into that. So that does that, and that little white one, that goes to the unit, to the unit, and so you can put that wherever you like. So I'm just gonna unplug that and get into it. Let's see how we go here. Now, my big hands and big bloody head, can't get under here. That just pulls straight out, doesn't it? Oh, that's easy as. So I was looking for clips and stuff on it, but I don't think it has any. I think it just, I think, I don't really bloody know by the sounds of that. Oh, there we go. There's two little clips on the top. Okay. Okay, love, you. <laughs> love you, mate. I love talking to myself. That's my son saying, who are you talking to? So just pull that out like that. When are we leaving? Oh, soon. So you saw how easy that was. Yep, just unplug that there. There it is there, and then you just pop this in. Sorry about the quality there, peeps. I know it's a thrilling video and you're all so excited. Cut my location there. Bang that in. Clips in like that. The other piece goes into there, into the one you just pulled out. Wherever it went, there it is. Now what you want to do is maybe you can wire it up somewhere so it's not going to fall down from the start. So I'm going to put it over. There's a little plug there. Oops. Make sure you undo that first too. That's your cable for the unit. So you want to be able to, oh, well, you can stick it anywhere, really, the bloody length of it. Anyway, as the extra said to the bishop, uh, it's 
slide that over the top so it stays out of the way without any zip ties for now. And it's precision work here with your hands. You can't see a bloody thing, so it feels like it's in, but it's not. There you go. Click. Heard that click. That sounds like the click you needed to bloody well here with that. That seems it's out of the way up there, but I probably will stick a zip tie on it anyway just to hold that up. That's all good. Nice. Now this piece here, just put it over a couple of things, I suppose, eh? So there we got that. Okay, so I got that mounted. Got the wire up through there. I've top, put it around a couple of cables. Now I've just got to figure out where to mount this. Um, that's it there. I'd like to put it there because I can sort of see it, but it's not a flat surface there. I can't really put it there because it looks a bit dicky. Engine stop there. I don't know, I'd like to put it there, but over here is very similar. Probably there's going to be the shot, isn't it? I reckon. It's not really flat. But it's there. Mm. Right there, I reckon. What are your thoughts? Hmm. No, 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 put it there, but you can't see it. Probably going to be there, I reckon. That's probably the flattest, flattest bit there we can find. I can sort of see it. Whereas there is going to be, can't really see it. Yeah, I reckon there. Okay, right, let's see how we go. Let's see. So we got the double-sided tape, beautifully supplied by the company. Oh, is there a bracket supposed to go in it? Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, you got this little bracket, which in case you want to screw it on, which I might do later on, you know. I'd probably double side tape the bracket on. Hmm. Oh, I'll go to double side tape first. That'll make it easy. Change of mind. I'm going to put it right there. There is enough flat surface there to have it, and you don't have to put the bracket onto it. So I'm going to put it straight onto that, straight onto there, and that'll stick onto here like that. So there we go. So there we go. We got double sided tape on the top and the bottom, and I'll push that up onto here and we'll stick it down. Yep, that's stuck good. Bloody ripper. So now I might just put the cable in there and tie it up at the back. Well, that was really easy. So all I've done. Connected the wires up under here, just wrapped them around a few thingos. We got that there. Now let's let's do the test. We got no engine lights. No nothing. A bit weird. Oh no, it's not. No. So we're in sport mode. Oh. Turn that off, we'll get a bloody copyright claim. Cruise mode. 4x4 four four Eco Auto. Off. Off takes you back to factory settings. Hike it. Yeah, just got to choose that it's an auto car. So I'm pretty sure you hold this for three seconds. Two, three. Maybe you don't. One, two, three. Auto. AT. See that? Pretty sure that was it. Let's go for a drive. Okay, now here we go. I'm just going to go for a drive in this and just feel. This is in sport mode. Oh, yeah, wow. 
what I can feel is that lag it opens up the throttle just that bit quicker I think still a little bit of lag there I just felt that but um, it's tending to pick up a bit quicker This will tell when I come up this stop sign up here every day, a day to take off, and I'm like, ah, oh, come on, bruh. Oh, yeah, that's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that response is heaps good. A lot of people run these and they're like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Man, the best thing you can do is put one of these on your four-wheel drive. You know, they're a four-wheel drive. We don't want performance and fast zero to 100 in bloody four and a half seconds. We just want something that's going to work. It's going to be smooth. So get yourself a Hike It. Click on the link below. Uh, it'll help my channel. It'll help me. And it'll help you. Best thing you can do. So, hey, thanks for watching. Uh, hike it, XS, fully tunable, programmable, bit of gear, um, love it, enjoy it, write your comments down the bottom, tell me what you reckon, why don't you put it in, oh wow, yeah, it's, it, I can just feel it already, so, hey, thanks for watching, this is Mick, Aussie 4v4 man, and uh, yeah, loving it, love it, woohoo, yeah, so I've had it in for about six weeks now, best thing I ever did, get yourself one of these, and uh, stick it in your Forby. Doesn't have to be a GWM Canon. Can be anything. It's going to change it. It's going to make, make it a bloody beautiful thing. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Do all that gear. Keep an eye out for more. See you later.